He is an activist in the fight against HIV AIDS and discrimination. And Larry Kramer has never minced words. For CBSN, he's talking about volume one of his new book, The American People. Why did I write this book to begin with? I'm so tired of reading history books that don't have anything about gay people in it. When we know that there's so many famous people in the history of this country who were gay. And I'm, I'm sick of it. I mean, we, we know that Abraham Lincoln was gay. Why is that not in the history books? Because all history books are written by straight people, and they don't want to either admit that or they wouldn't know how to recognize what we call Gator. <laughs> Um, but it's also a history of the plague of AIDS. This is the 35th year of this plague. Why has it been allowed to continue so long? Why has the government, the Congress, the president not attended to it in the way they should? Um, why is there no cure? Why don't I hear anything about the, wor the word cure? A bowl comes along and, and it's on the front page of every newspaper for days and days and days and days and days and days and, and that was enough pressure to make the NIH really go fast and work. Um, I'm still waiting for them to go fast and work on HIV for all everybody's happiness with gay marriage, indeed I'm happily married to my husband now. That just calms a lot of gay people down so they don't have to fight. They don't call gays a community anymore because there are too many of us and we represent too many different kinds of people. So I call it gay population. And, and we are just not good fighters and we suffer because of it. The minute that uh, we got the first drugs for HIV, that worked, act up, self-destructed, you know, but they didn't carry on to fight for the cure. They had the drug to buy and have enough. And that hurt me a lot. That hurt me a lot. <clears throat> uh, fortunately, the gay men's health crisis is becoming strong again. So, and they've asked me back again. So, um, see what we can stir up there. And I'm also writing a sequel to the Normal Heart movie for HBO. Normal Heart was not well received initially by the Times. That's the play. And, uh, but, the, but it was the beginning of everybody dying, so gay people identified with it. <coughs> and that kept it going. And it sort of had a life of its own. It was, one of the most successful movies that HBO ever had. And uh, that's, 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 that's a nice feeling to know that. Of course, I'm HIV positive. And my, my hearing is, has gone uh, just from old age, I think. Um, that's a pain in the neck. <laughs> but hey, I'm going to be 80 years old. and this, as David, my lover, says, you're alive. Gay people are just so discriminated against by the world. We've been hated since the world, since, since, since the beginning of time. I think gay people are wonderful, and we simply have to take over our, our rightful place in the world.